and hello everybody it is single here and welcome or welcome back to my channel I hope y'all are doing super super duper well and today guys we have a few errands to run I've got a doctor's appointment so I thought I'd vlog for you this morning's been pretty productive I have some laundry going I had a phone call I got ready and my get ready does not include makeup and I don't know how there are people out there that put on makeup every single day but I have a stream later today so I will be wearing makeup for that last time I put makeup on just to leave the house I don't think I've ever done that. That's not true. I used to do that. I guess the older you get, like the less you care, you know? Guys, the other update, it is 70 degrees outside right now. It is supposed to get up to 72 degrees outside. I woke up and it was like kind of hot and I was like, why am I sweating? Why can't I get cool? And then I realized it was like supposed to be a high of 72 and I'm like, what the actual heck? And then I looked at my wardrobe and I was like, I don't know how to 72. I don't know how to do that. Like, I don't know how to do it. So I guess like I put on a less than wintry color like a like a peach like a neon peach color I brought out like some light gray biker shorts These are the biker shorts by the way that I talked about in the other vlog that are kind of on their way out They're cute. They're just a little bit smaller than I would usually go for you probably can't tell that much But they just like cinch a little bit too much Maybe I just need to do some like Chloe Ting slim thigh workouts or I just need to get bigger shorts You know both are solutions. <laughs> I've got my white vans my biker shorts and this like spring version of my favorite sweatshirt right now at Aerie. I have that mauve pinky color for the winter and the fall time, but when it's 72 degrees outside, you gotta bring out the neon peachy color, you know? My doctor's appointment, I just confirmed it is at one o'clock, but I have a couple errands to run. So let's get in the car and I'll tell you about them. You know what's really difficult to do in 72 degree weather? Get in the Christmas spirit. I got in the car and I found a radio station that was playing Christmas music from here up until obviously Christmas time. And yesterday, when it wasn't 72 degrees, it was very easy to get into the spirit of Christmas. But when it's 72 and I come in and it's playing Frosty the Snowman, it's a little difficult. And speaking of Christmas, the first errand that we are going to run, which I think should take me up to my appointment, is I'm gonna go get Jack and I our Christmas matching like pajama sets. They might not be matching, I'll just see. They obviously like will go together nicely if they're just like red and green and all that stuff. But Jack and I have never done a Christmas card together. But we get really freaking cute Christmas cards every single year from like families like cute little families to friends that aren't even married but they're doing them with their pets and I'm like dude we're married we have two cats we should do Christmas cards but what I notice that every single season whenever it gets really close to Christmas time all of these like pajama sets or like the bottoms and things like that are sold out because everyone buys them earlier on to do their Christmas cards or because they know that they're gonna sell out and I'm just like late to the party so we're gonna go and see what we can find I think I'm gonna go to Old Navy because one, they're really reasonably priced, but two, we were looking on the website and Jack and I really liked this one pattern. So I'm really excited about that. And then yeah, that should take me up to my doctor's appointment. And if you guys haven't been following my journey with my heart monitor and things like that, first of all, if you have and you're so tired of hearing about it, I am so sorry. I feel like such a broken record, but like that's what's been going on in my life. It's literally been four different doctor's appointments surrounding this heart monitor. Where am I going? I forget where I'm going. Oh my God, where am I going? I'm going to the mall. Okay, I'm going this way. Well, I can't go that way. Going this way, okay. Weird. Some construction's happening over there. But yeah, I'm so sorry. That has literally been consuming my life lately. And so that's what I've been vlogging about. But you guys have been super sweet and the comments have been so sweet and everyone's concerns have been so sweet. I feel like you guys have been way more concerned than I personally am about this, which is, should probably be more concerned about it if I'm being honest. I should probably be more concerned. I haven't had any heart flutters since getting it on or even before that. So I still feel like kind of a crazy patient that that's like over, like over exaggerating. But what are you gonna do? I'm so glad I got it checked out. I think I'm gonna go this way. Can I go that way? Oh yeah, I can. Thank you. She was like in the middle of the road. Like it made me think that this was a one way street, but she was straight up in the middle of the road. Anyway guys, I digress. Also after the doctor's appointment, because I don't have, I don't think I'll have time to do this before the doctor's appointment. I want to go to Walmart. Jack is out of shampoo. I know exciting things happening. And I also want to get some ingredients for a Frappuccino. There is that girl on TikTok that is so good at telling me how to make 
Starbucks drinks. And we're not even big Frappuccino fans out here. If we're going to Starbucks, we're getting something with way more caffeine in it and like less sugar and stuff. But if I can make it at home, why not? It sounds really fun. So I'm gonna go get some ingredients for that. We're gonna make a Starbucks pumpkin spice Frappuccino later today. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot. Jack and I did order the purple mattress. We did, and it is scheduled to be delivered by the end of day today. So if that's the case, I wanna unbox it for you all and film that whole process because I'm so curious about this. I've never had one of the box mattresses before, so I'm really pumped about that. And yeah, just a lot of miscellaneous things. Okay, I'm gonna stop blabbing. Let's get to Old Navy and pick out some epic Christmas jammies. Look at that. Front row, guys. Spotted the Christmas stuff. I might have to get one of these. Oh my god, look how fluffy. Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> Perfect. These are the ones that we've really liked, but we also liked these. I don't know if this music is copyright or not, but I did find matching pajamas. I could barely find the guys in an extra large, but I found them way deep down into like the bottom shelf of these ones. And there weren't a lot left, so I feel really lucky. We're gonna call Jack real quick because I found these Yeti ones, and as much as I wanna match, I feel like he would really like these Yeti joggers more than these ones, so I would get these ones, but I'm gonna see if he wants these ones. Hello. Hey baby, I found these ones in matching, oh, cute. like the their joggers, and they had only one extra large left in guys. But I just wanted to double check because they have Yeti ones. Do you like them? These are all of your options. So they have just the flannel bottom ones. Like these ones are like wide-legged. But then down here they do have, uh, are they joggers? I think they're just flannel bottom. I think these ones might not be joggers, the Yeti ones. So these ones are definitely joggers. Yeah, I like the ones you have. Okay, you like these ones? Yeah. All right, sweet. Guys, I absolutely scored on the PJs. I don't know if y'all heard me in there. They only had one more of the matching men's joggers that I wanted, and I showed Jack the Yeti ones, and he actually enjoyed the ones that I had already, aka the ones that were already matching mine. So I'm very excited about that, and everything was discounted, so I'm actually going to probably try them on today. Just to make sure that they're good, because I did not expect this, but they are on sale right now. So the joggers that are normally $20 are now 15, and and the shirts that I picked up, they were only like $10. So really great price for some really cute matching Christmas pajama opportunity. I do have to say though, for Old Navy, they've gotten a little expensive. Like some of their sweaters and sweatshirts are like $40 to $50. And on a sale, I can get those at Aerie for a little bit better quality. Like they last a little bit longer and for cheaper. So I don't know if it was the pandemic that has them upping their prices on things, but I did not remember prices like that at Old Navy being the way that they were. Like really simple, just like cotton joggers that reminded me of just like Fruit of the Loom type of quality were like $30 in there and I was very shocked at that. Anyway guys, it's time for my appointment. Let's go to the doctors and see what's up with my heart. Just casual. Let's just, let's just go check in on the good old heart, you know? Hello, I am back from my doctor's appointment and I stopped by the house before going to Walmart. I think I can still get Walmart in. It is almost 2 p.m. So hopefully I can, I think I can go to Walmart before the stream. I'm making lunch. I got a veggie burger cooking. It's like a black bean burger. Jack already popped in the sweet potatoes. Mmm, and those are all ready. And then in the oven, we've got broccoli cooking. Delicious, I felt like we had all the stuff for lunch here. Why not come home and snag it versus like getting something out, you know? But the doctors went good. I feel like a lot of follow-up appointments though can be saved by just calling me like they call me to remind me of the appointment. Like they call me four different times to remind me that I have an appointment, but they don't call me with just like simple test results. Like they do for blood work. Really that follow-up was just to tell me that there are no abnormalities in the heart monitor, which I am so grateful for. Do not get me wrong. I'm really grateful that like nothing's wrong, which is amazing. Great news overall, but there is nothing Nothing else to cover in that appointment. The only other thing that they told me what to do if like it continues to happen or if I notice it again, basically if I notice it again, I just call like I did before. 
where I write in on the portal and we get a heart monitor on for a longer period of time so they can catch the palpitations. They just didn't catch the palpitations when I had the heart monitor on and otherwise the beats look good, the heart rate. They said I have a higher than average heart rate but that is consistent with all of my like medical history. I have a very high heart rate. It doesn't matter if I'm like in really good shape or not. Like when I was in the best shape of my life doing track and field in college, I still had a really, really high heart rate. Yeah. Everything's good. Mattress still hasn't come. I'm really excited about that. It left Connecticut this morning at 1042 specifically. I don't know if I mentioned this on the vlog, but 1042 is the angel number that I keep seeing. And basically it means that good things are coming. Good things are around the corner. And basically angel numbers just mean like something is watching over you and like you're doing good. You're on the right path. And I love stuff like that. So I see 1042 literally everywhere. I've started a folder on my phone to screenshot every time I see 1042 because it's very specific. It's one thing to see like 33 you know it's like two threes that's great but like 10 42 four numbers to match up it's kind of cool anyway i digress it left connecticut at 10 42 i'm just flipping my burger this morning so it is out for delivery it says delivery by end of day but we've had packages twice now say that and then it just comes like the very next day but i'm hopeful i'm excited i really want to unbox that purple mattress i think it's gonna look so cool i can't wait for it to like fluff up you know, that would be really awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this lunch and then let's head to Walmart to pick up the few things that I needed to get today. I'm back from the store. Hannaford's was our best option. I really like going to Walmart when I have to get stuff like shampoo and Jack needed more shampoo because it's just like a lot cheaper in some aspects, but it wasn't too bad. Anyway, I wanted to make a pumpkin spice frappuccino from our favorite TikTok Starbucks guru, Miss Carissa Reese. Again, we made a iced pumpkin spice latte last week, but I keep seeing her make frappuccinos and I'm not even a huge frappuccino fan, but again, I think I explained this before if I can make it at home like why the frick not so I went and I got all the ingredients except they didn't have pumpkin pie spice like the actual spice but I do have apple pie spice and I know it's not the same but I figure if we just sprinkle a little bit in there with a little bit of cinnamon it will still have a like festive effect on my frappuccino and that is the goal okay let's get started you need ice our ice machine stopped working like over quarantine there's like a lot of ice espresso this has been chilling for like 0.5 seconds but espresso oh man i think she has more espresso in hers milk. she like covers the ice with the milk so we're gonna do like that <laughs> okay pumpkin. pumpkin she is so prepared i bet you she learned like how to prepare herself for these tiktoks because you only have a very specific amount of time you know Jello powder. She pours so much jello powder in. I'm gonna be very careful. She like goes ham. Okay. <laughs> I'm like nervous, but that's like so much. Vanilla extract. She did a good splash of vanilla extract. Pumpkin spice seasoning. Pumpkin spice seasoning. She did like three big shakes of the seasoning. I'm just gonna do like that of the apple pie seasoning and then two shakes of, there was already some cinnamon on top. So like we're gonna do some cinnamon like that. Blend. And then she blends and then she tops it with whipped cream. So I got whipped cream because it wouldn't be the same, you know. Bring over our trusty steed, shake her up a little bit. Oh gosh, the consistency is, I think, I think the consistency gonna blend a little bit more I think it's a little too thick. I think it's a little too thick I think I need to add a little bit more milk I just need it a little more liquidy it's like so thick. by the way on Tuesday November 10th if I'm late to this stream this is why let's try with a little more milk I'm so nervous pouring this is this a a bad idea, yes. Yes, it was a bad idea. Hey, it didn't get all over my phone, that's a plan. I'm gonna pour these over the sink real quick. Here's the mixture. I'm going to, before I put like whipped cream on it and stuff, I'm just gonna take a sip. Yeah, I wouldn't be super excited about getting that through the drive-thru. I actually haven't seen someone try these frappuccino like at home things, like these recipes and say, oh my gosh, it's spot on. And I used everything that she did. The only thing is obviously the pumpkin spice, which I'm sure it would make a difference. But even without the spice, like I just don't taste. It's like 
I'm not way too impressed with it, you know? Let's go ahead and serve it anyway, because I made a big mess trying to make this work. Oh God, I'm making even a bigger mess right now. There is whipped cream going everywhere. Why am I like this? Let's serve this mediocre pumpkin spice frappuccino to Jeff. I just realized that you couldn't even see them. Look how pretty they are though. They're so cute. I'll just go here. Yeah. That's what we did. By the way, are you are you picking up an Xbox drops today? I am not. Oh, that's good. Is that a pumpkin? Yeah, it's like it's okay. Dango just made a pumpkin cream frappuccino. A pumpkin spice frappuccino. It needs more Ooh. pumpkin. Does it need more pumpkin? Yeah. I just can't like the woman like made it and I made it exactly like hers, but it didn't come out the same. The only thing is like they didn't have pumpkin spice at the store but i feel like even putting pumpkin spice in would not make it exactly like starbucks would make it like pumpkin and sugar it just ta it tastes uh, very milky yeah it's not bad it's okay like, well you drink it, it. Yeah, okay Ilya, if you were here i'd make one for you too nice okay. i appreciate it thank you just making sure you knew that oh, yeah. okay guys uh, it's here oh my landa <laughs> is it like awful bubba Miss Ellie, we have a new mattress to sleep on. That looks amazing. Look how it came and the package and everything. Wow. Thank you, baby. I know. Take your time. Take your time. Now we can slide it. Oh my goodness. It's for you. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's there all... will be no cats in the bed. <laughs> okay. What do the steps say? Do we need to inflate it like right now? Yeah, that's, well, I'm just wondering, like, if that's the case. Unwrap, two, unroll, three, unwind. Oh, it doesn't say, like, how long, but I can look at the website. We can go unroll and put it on the bed if you want. We might as well while we're doing things so it gets the full. But that's what I mean, like, does it need more time than what we're going to give it until bedtime? I can't imagine. You don't think so? We, we need to pick up the other mattress. Oh man, it's a whole production. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. Sleep masks and these random seeds. Just like mini purple beds. I don't know why. I'll put one on my desk. And then what's this? Oh, it's a cutter. They they gave us a little box cutter thing. Like for stress. To un to undo it. That's very smart. Okay. Okay. Careful with that. Oh, it's expanding. wondering we did go with the purple too so this is the two inch foam thing or two inch coil or something like that two inch purple foam two inch purple foam or purple grid whatever they call it it's the one right above the first just base model it just felt so much nicer and more supportive than the base model so <laughs> <laughs> We're really excited about it. And that was the most satisfying unboxing of anything I've ever done in my entire life. Oh, Miss Allie, do you approve? She's like, yes. 
this is nice. Hippo will never. This is the end of Hippo being allowed in our bedroom at all. Yeah. I don't even want to risk. The thing is with the old mattress, as you guys know, when Hippo is upset or when she was upset, she's an old cat. She would come in and let us know that she was upset by peeing in the place that would get our attention the most. Like that's what cats do. This is a sample of the purple grid. They're like technology that we're sleeping on right now. And it's just like, oh my gosh. So we have a 30 day challenge to sleep on it for 30 days because they won't take it back unless we've slept on it for 21 days because that's how long it takes to adjust to yeah. these mattresses. Like some people in the reviews even said they thought it wasn't for them, but they had to stick it out the 21 days to get a refund. And then by the 21 days, they were like sold. They were like, this is, this is legit. And then they have a hundred night guarantee. So if we still don't like it by a hundred nights, they will fully refund and have um, let us return it. And then it has a 10 year warranty. So if we like basically have done all the right things and have like done everything per their guidelines and it starts to dip in like 10 years or whatever, like dipping or something, we can like get a full refund. So we're just gonna let that expand over the full day. And then we're gonna go to sleep tonight and honestly, if you guys are interested at all in what we think about this purple mattress and how we're liking it and how our love for it progresses over the time, make sure to subscribe if you are new. But also come check out the future vlogs because we'll be doing some like check-ins and stuff. Starting with our first night on the purple mattress. I'm actually really curious how the first night's gonna go. It's nice though. It is very supportive on first lay down of a brand new mattress. Hello guys, I thought I would come in here to end the vlog. The mattress mattress has been expanding all day. That last clip was probably taken around like 10 a.m. or so. So I was a little sleepy in those clips, I realized, but that was a lot to like handle and a lot to be excited about at 10 a.m. in the morning. So forgive me, but we are seriously so excited. All day we've been turning to each other and being like, dude, we have like a new mattress. Dude, we have a purple mattress. We're so excited. So tonight will be the dude. first. <laughs> I know we have a magic. So tonight will be the first night that we're sleeping on it and of course we will keep you all updated. But if you have any specific questions about the mattress or things that you would like us to keep you guys updated on, let us know in the comments below. But otherwise guys, I'm about to go head out and get ourselves some Dunkin. It's four times the points today if we go get Dunkin. So I'm like, heck yes, we ran out of coffee today and Dunkin is doing four times the points on the app. So we're gonna treat ourselves to some Dunkin. It's a very exciting day. But otherwise guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below because we upload videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everyone, don't forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up, and I will see you guys on Friday, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye!